Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it is time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Uh, this article from The Hollywood Reporter says Disney is settling a breach of contract suit from film financier TSG over accusations of Hollywood accounting. If you remember, a couple of months ago, we did a video talking about how Disney was getting sued, apparently, for fudging the numbers on Avatar 2. Yeah, they were saying these people invested in it. And yes. they were saying, oh, oh, we you know, didn't make enough money to give you money back or something like that. I forget the whole, all the details. We talked about it. Yes, yeah, self-dealing to boost subscriber yes, numbers. Yeah, uh, That they were they were putting Avatar on like HBO Max and stuff too. And it was, it was a really weird uh, situation, but they settled. So I think Disney would have gotten their butts handed them. I have to wonder if the reason Disney didn't settle is they didn't want certain stuff coming out in court. You know, because it could open up Pandora's box. I mean, look at what's going on with ESPN right now. They had to give a bunch of Emmys back because they're trying to put this NFL deal to bed. And uh, all the stuff came out that they were actually uh, faking and defrauding the Emmys. So that's that's not good. So we'll talk about that. We're going to talk about, you know, I love this. Is Dopey leading Disney? Uh, Carol Markowitz asked what Disney could do to win back the boycotters. Not just about the boycotts, just in general the decisions they've been making at Disney, the money losing, and it's not about the boycott, it's just they've been bleeding out money, spending hundreds of millions of dollars on movies and TV shows that nobody's watching, that's not getting a return on their investment, and they're like, do they think they have infinite money, that they can just light it on fire? They've lost billions of dollars this year at the box office. Several 200, 300 million dollar movies that did not recoup their budgets, you can only do that for so long. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you can only do that for so long. And I got to wonder, you know, if the board's not going to have to be switched up because they're going to go to the shareholders and be like, hey, yeah, if you want your Disney stock to actually uh, start performing again, Disney has to perform again because currently they are they're not. They're just burning money. So let's uh, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you do. Mm -hmm. The Hollywood Reporter. Yeah, they settled with this uh, TSG. They said uh, Disney and 20th Century Studios have settled a breach of contract lawsuit from film financier TSG Entertainment, mm -hmm. which accused them of withholding profits and self-dealing to boost subscriber numbers for their streaming platforms. Oof. Um, they said the case centered on an independent audit of three films that TSG invested in, including Avatar 2, and revealed it's owed at least $40 million dollars. Uh, the shortfall the company alleged caused it to take on a worse position and in investment of Avatar The Way of Water and deprived it of the cash necessary to exercise options. Right. They weren't given the money back so they couldn't invest in other movies that they would have made money on. Right. So basically they're saying Disney is is faking it, saying that they're not making a profit and they're not giving the money back to uh, these co-financiers. And you know, like every time you watch a movie, there's like 50 different, mm -hmm. different uh, title cards, you know, this company and that company and this company. Cause it used to be like one studio would make movies. Now it's like freaking 500 people. Yeah. Um, they said disputes over Hollywood accounting as TSG called it are common. They're typically handled behind closed doors and don't make it to court. According to the complaint, the terms of the deal between the financier and the studio spelled out the conflicts, uh, spelled out that conflicts can be filed in court to preserve the ability to appeal any ruling. So they said after um, it says sued after noticing the money from its investment decreased dramatically. According to the complaint, the audit showed that 20th century failed to credit TSG with revenue charged tens of millions in distribution, uh, distribution fees not permitted under the deal deducted expenses, not related to the pictures in their slate and uncovered rampant self-dealing the practice by which the studio enters into sweetheart deals with its licensee affiliates to artificially minimize the profit payments to stakeholders like TSG. So they're basically trying to be like, Oh yeah, we don't owe you any money because we made this deal or that deal or whatever. And they're, they're cutting them out of the profit. So Disney's trying to pocket as much. Uh, they said one example is the studio ignored a standing agreement with um, FX networks and calculated license fees tied to domestic box office performance and did a secret side deal for a fraction of what the parties had previously agreed was fair. Because they own FX. Yes. So, and we've seen, we've seen them doing this. Now I thought this was to just to boost their, viewership numbers, but we've seen them throw a bunch of like Disney plus shows and movies and stuff like that on other Disney owned networks. And a lot of times prematurely, it was like, Hey, this just came out on Disney plus, but we're going to dump it on the free form too. We're going to dump it on the Hulu. And it's probably 
because of Hollywood accounting, they can say, oh, this, this is coming from the Hulu budget. This is coming from the free form. Oh, we're, we're advertising on our own network. So we're paying ourselves to advertise or something. You well, know? in this case, they had a deal to go 20, 20th century. You had a deal to go to HBO. Yes. And they said that when Disney got 20th century, 21st century Fox, they made a new deal. They renegotiated with HBO to boost Disney Plus and Hulu and give a significant portion of the guaranteed HBO license fees to basically get the content up on their streamers faster. Yeah. I thought it was weird that it was on HBO too. And Avatar looked like, I mean, it made a bunch of money at the box office, especially overseas. But then like it was on streaming fast. I was I was surprised. I was like, why is it why is it being dumped on the streaming? So, so fast? basically, they had to reach some kind of settlement because Disney was making deals with itself to give itself the best deal, but then using the saying that the cause they were doing that, that there was losses that that would go to the financier, and that wasn't what they agreed upon. So self dealing is a term that comes up a lot with mm-hmm. Disney. Even you know, looking at Florida and looking at Disney the World, Creek and- Reedy <laughs> Creek, and it's basically Disney. Uh, plays itself, pays itself, makes deals with people. Disney plays with itself. It does. Yes. Uh, Yeah, they do. Uh, They play with themselves themselves often. Yeah. So yeah. Everybody else gets, but somehow everybody else gets screwed. Everybody else gets, yeah. Disney plays with itself and everybody else winds up getting screwed. Um, So they had to settle. So I, I think that they probably had a case and they just didn't want to drag it out in public because what else would have come out, you know? And they should drag on public. So other things do come out. That's the point. I think so. I think, you know, a lot of case, I mean, Disney, they're merciless. I don't think they would settle if they thought that they had a case. They were just trying to see what they could get away with, I think. And so they're like, fine, we'll just pay you whatever. We don't know what the settlement was either. No, they said there are no terms or It might not have been like very much either. We don't know. Probably whatever they thought they were owed or a fraction of that or whatever. Whatever the arbitrator thought they were owed or how the courts decided. Right. It might have even been a case of like, this is how they get out paying the full amount. It might have been like, okay, well, we owe you, just hypothetically speaking, we owe them $100 million. Well, okay, we'll go arbitration. Instead, dragging it out in court and taking the PR hit. It and having all this other dirty laundry air, yeah, we'll give you we'll give you fifty million. Shut up, you know. That's that's probably what they did. If I thing is, though, other financier companies are going to see this and be like, "Don't deal with Disney." Exactly, it's going to bite them in the ass. When exactly, they need, they need money for these these films and these shows. Oh yeah, and they're not going to have it because people aren't going to work with them because they screw up with their partners. Yeah, they do. Uh, time and time again, they screw over their own people. They screw over everybody. They screw over their talent. The the lawyer that represented uh, this TSG apparently was the same one that represented Scarlett Johansson because they tried to screw her over too mm-hmm. with Hollywood accounting. Uh, I thought this was kind of interesting. I had somebody kick it over. As Dopey leading Disney, Carol Markowitz asked what Disney could do to win back the boy cars. This is kind of a compilation of, of uh, tweets. But... Um, yeah, what what would make people come back and start spending money on Disney again? Um, this person said it's about the nickel and diming families. Yeah, that's yeah. probably true. I know a lot of people are complaining about that. Yeah, so uh, here's the thing. And it's not all political. Everybody keeps trying to... I don't think it is. I think the majority of it is Disney's greed. Yes, Disney being greedy. There are people on both sides of the aisle. And there are people that... It's, it's subpar product. Uh, you're, you're paying a premium for a subpar product. Basically, yes. And the politics, yeah, definitely doesn't help. The politics definitely doesn't help. But the stuff that has been lately subpar and overpriced. Quality programming. Stop making movies that suck. Yes. And start making movies that do not suck. That's a pretty straightforward thing. Just stop making the movies that suck. As a local, this is somebody... Uh, apparently that lives in Florida. Uh, I haven't been since the pandemic and won't return until fast passes come back. My kids have no interest. They prefer universal wait. Well, the, yeah. Cause they have a genie plus, which you have to pay extra for. Yeah. They're not going to, they're not going to walk that one back. The last trip we took to Disney was a couple of years ago. And I was shocked at how expensive everything was. Mm-hmm. And we used to go all, I mean, we, when, I, when I'm saying we went all the time, Literally went all the time. We were there all the time. I mean, there were weeks where we'd be at Disneyland and Disney World in the same week to cover stuff. And uh, then we had a little bit of a gap because of the pandemic. And when we went back, I was like, oh, my God, everything got expensive. I mean, I could go down any time now. I mean, I, I should probably go to some of the Epcot festivals and stuff. I just don't want to. <laughs> I have no desire to go. I'm I'm super excited about Universal. I'm super excited about Epic Universe. I'm very excited. I'm actually the most excited about in Vegas. They're going to do the Halloween Horror Nights like year round thing. Mm -hmm. 
I'm the most excited about what that because Halloween Horror Nights is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do in Orlando, hands down. Like if I, seriously, one trip to Orlando a year, it would be to go do Halloween Horror Nights. So for them to actually do that year round in Vegas, I'm like, hmm. You did the Kennywood one last year. The Kennywood one was actually pretty good. You guys really yeah. liked it. You guys really, yeah, really liked it. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. The Phantom uh, Fall Fest. Mm-hmm. You guys I really, mean, really liked that one. They all have the budget that Universal does, but for a hometown park, it actually they, they drained did a good the. Um, oh, the Lazy River. The, yeah, the, they uh, did. the Rapids ride. They drained the Rapids, the Rapids yeah. ride, and they had the stuff down in the Rapids ride area and stuff, and, and they were just like thought it was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, I want to say it was Voodoo Bayou. I think that's what it was, but it was it was actually pretty cool. It was very clever use of the park, like you know. Where as Universal, it's all like warehouse space and stuff like that. They've got kind of like dedicated space they use for the, you know, this, they had to be creative because they didn't have enough room for more houses. So they're like, okay, fine. We'll just drain the. It was really river. smart. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. Anyway, back to this, uh, um, uh, the change and the apology. They want to act like they're right all along and nope. Yeah, they all, they, well, we're always right. We don't do anything wrong. What are you talking about? Yeah. Some people are like, well, they're, they're going to have a, yeah. Acknowledgement of wrongdoing without repentance is an announcement of intention to repeat the offense. Basically, um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I got caught. That's Disney. Yeah. If they put out entertaining movies without messaging, we'll see it. Wonka was excellent. If they had made Wonka, I still would have seen it. All they have to do is go back to putting out good content. So what I'm not seeing, this is a this is a conservative commentary. She's on Fox News. Mm-hmm. I'm not seeing a lot of people saying they need to repent of that one person. The politics, the politics, the politics. Some people, yeah, that's going to, some people are going to be like, look, they're a California company. They're going to be what they're going to be. Could you just make good stuff again? That's all we're asking. Well, the next person, like, yeah, new content free of obnoxious lecturing or not so subtle messaging. Um, people are just tired of it. Just make fun things. Yeah. Uh, the cost Disney World costs hundreds of dollars per day per person now for the privilege of standing in three hour lines in the yes. Little Crab Park, charging $600 a night for best Western class hotel experience. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. The deluxes are not that great. I mean, we stayed at the Contemporary a couple of years ago, and I'm like, how much is this? Oh, it was pretty bad, yeah. And it was old and dingy. They've redone parts of it since then. It was right after the pandemic, right before they redid some of it. But yeah, it was pretty. mm. I was like, this is like a temporary? I'm like, damn, like Caribbean Beach and that was better than this. Yeah, well, we went to, like, immediately after, we spent a couple days at Universal, and we went to the... Their value. The value, the endless summer. They just opened it. And they had suites, and we got a suite for a fraction of what we paid at Disney, and it was a nicer room. It was, it was a. Uh, You're better I, to go to Disney Springs and get one of the hotels there, like yeah, the B resorts and stuff so. like that. And then, you know, you can still get a lot of the perks that you would if it was a good neighbor hotel. And the, the hotel rooms, you can you get, you get a suite for what you'd pay at, like the Artie Animation, and you know, you'd be a lot better off. Yeah. So it just kind of goes on and on. But basically, the, uh, you know, aside from the politics, the ongoing theme is expense expense and, the and fact quality. That making shitty movies yep and shitty content and i you know how much longer can this go on because we're talking about the movies and they're just like they're dying at the box office like almost every movie they said the only movie that they had this year that did pretty okay uh was guardians 3 and everything else pretty much died or barely Elemental, but barely made money. Barely. Little Mermaid, I doubt it broke even. It did, if it, it, if, it, if even. it did anything, it just it just barely broke even. I don't even think it did that. That's it. Everything else is bombed. Well, I think I think that's where the Hollywood accounting comes in, because I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to offset these bombs with, well, we're going to put it on streaming. So we're going to split the budget between mm-hmm. Disney Plus and theatrical. And that's how we're going to, you know, offset it on the books to make it look like we didn't lose as much money as we actually did. But no, you, no, dude, Bob, you lost like over a billion dollars in shit movies this year, just this year like this. This cannot go on. You know, and I think they're going to get more and more desperate with the accounting, trying to make it look like they're they're profitable. Well, but. let me tell you too. Like, I don't know if we talked about it too much on here. The I think we did mention it. the rumors for Universal Epic Universe are getting even more uh, interesting. Um, not just Epic Universe, Universal in general. Yeah. Um, we talked before they were talking and they might be bringing in um, Pokemon. Well, now that that that's there's more rumors coming out saying mm-hmm. that they're bringing Pokemon in. We know they're doing it in Japan to the Spider Man. 
um, ride. Yeah, they were talking that they might be bringing, now this is an older rumor again, that they're bringing Legend of Zelda in and they're back to saying it could be in the Lost Continent area because pretty much everything's cleaned out there except for um, the restaurants and the shopping. So they have lots of space there. They could do that. There's also a rumor that we've talked about Epic Universe before. There's different areas that are expansions. So what they're going to do is they're going to have whatever's going to be done with opening. And then they have several areas dedicated to expansions down the road. And now there's a rumor that these are all rumors, of course, but there's a rumor that they might be putting Luigi's Mansion, a Luigi's Mansion dark ride in um, as an expansion off of the Super, Super Nintendo land at Universal in Florida. Yeah, which that, that's interesting because actually you think about the movie. Um, <laughs> what's Indiana Jones with maxi pads? You think about the you think about the movie <laughs> it depends. though. Yeah, yeah, it should be depends. Uh, sorry, but no, it. Uh, you think about the movie and it does make sense because. Um, oh my God, we're talking about Universal. And there it is. Um, wow. Wow, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Uh, but in the movie they had Luigi go off on his own, and it was kind of the, like you know echoing Luigi's Mansion, and yeah, that then you had the Donkey Kong part of the movie and then you had Mario. So it, do, it does make sense. Yeah. So that's the rumor. That, you know? And I, I mean the, the, the Zelda one and the Pokemon one have been around for a while now, but uh, the Luigi's mansion just makes sense. And I hope they're all true. Cause that, if they bring this in, Disney should be shitting their pants because they'll need the depends. They'll need that. the depends. Yeah. Because they're going to kick their ass. Cause they're, they're, we're, we're, we're going to do a new projection show on the tree of life. And we're going to, we shut down country bears to make new IP recordings of country bear songs with, uh, you know, country songs that were in our songs, country artists, I guess is what they're doing. Yeah. That's basically Alvin, and the chipmunks, right? You're just doing bad covers with furries of your IP, of, yeah. of your own IP. Like yeah. nobody, so they'll do a lot of bear necessities and. Oh, I'm sure bear I'm necessities sure. will be in there. If we take the racism out. We're going to make sure everything is, you know, but yeah, I just, um, that's it. Disney, they're phoning it in. They don't have the money. Look, did this whole thing, this Hollywood accounting, all this, I think it's going to come out in the very near future that Disney has a lot less money than we think they do because they're well, doing, no, I think they have a lot less money than because <laughs> I, I, it looks like they're doing everything on the cheap. Universal's like, yeah, let's go build a whole new park. Well, Universal, and Comcast has the money they paid for Hulu. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure they'd use it for that, but they technically have all this money and they probably didn't get paid more. Yeah. That was just the initial. And there, you know, again, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, NBC Universal uh, leans a certain way politically. The difference is, for the most part, for the most part, uh, you, you know, especially in the theme parks, you're not having it shoved in your face. In no. fact, Universal still has the Christian Rock Festival. Mm -hmm. Disney got rid of it. Disney's got gay days, but they don't have the, the Christian festival anymore. They, they make still sure they cash in on Pride Month. They, oh, yeah, They, they rainbow the hell out of everything to make sure they cashed in on, on people's identities. But, you know. Now, Universal does that, too, but they still they still have the, the Christian festival, too, which Disney got rid of because it was probably they're going to cash in on your religion. They're going to cash in <laughs> your religion. You know, they're going to cash in on your identity. We'll take yeah. all your money. We're we'll take all your judge. money. We don't care what your beliefs are. We're going to cash in on you. Somehow, we're going to monetize you. And, you know, Disney needs to be more like that. They need to just monetize everybody. Um, but uh, they only want to monetize certain people. They don't want to monetize the bigots anymore. What's wrong with them? You should be getting all kinds of bigot bucks, Disney. Maybe you wouldn't be in such a bad place financially if you if you, if you you tried to get some bigot bucks. But so far, you don't have to you know disclaim how you vote before you get in. That'll be the next thing. <laughs> All right. We got to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.